You know, Ruto was saying that he's being sabotaged. How can you be sabotaged when you're bought, up, you're bought the entire parliament? That's where the law is made. Uh, he, he, the laws that are applied, he can undo them or enact them because he has got control of parliament through an unlawful usurpation. So there's nobody sabotaging him. He's the one who has sabotaged our institutions. They're not working the way they should be working. So as Kenyans, we should prepare for the worst and must do what is necessary to make our life a little bit better. Otherwise, we are just going to move from one hell hole to another hell hole. And eventually we may get to hell before it is time to get there. And instead of claiming that some people are sabotaging them, they should admit that they are unable to govern. You cannot claim you're being sabotaged when you have pocketed parliament, when you're intimidating the judiciary, when you've muzzled all independent institutions, and you essentially have a free hand, but you don't know what to do with that free hand. So you keep looking for enemies in your shadow. The sooner they admit that, the sooner we will still start having solutions. As we come into the year, we continue to demand that the cost of living must come down. We continue to demand that the government must immediately release monies to CDF so that we can pay, uh, give bursaries to students. And if they will not do that, for us, we are prepared to exercise our constitutional right any time. As soon as we get the indication from our political leader, Raila Molodinga, we will be there. And the truth is, Kenyans are so dissatisfied that if, in, if we don't do that, Kenyans might end up starting to demonstrate on their own. We demand that this regime must listen to Kenyans and must address the plight of Kenyans.